Is uh, that where the uh, funeral will be? Yes. The old man was posted from garrison to garrison, so I had a typical army childhood, mostly in India. I've never been further than France. Oh, and Holland once. What's India like? Huge, hot, incredibly varied. If I had to... Uh, I think we're out of petrol. A rot. Well, the gauge reads empty and the car won't go. These phenomena suggest to me that we have no fuel. But we passed a garage a few miles back. Indeed we did. It was shut. I uh, think we'd better get the car off the road. I'd like to help push. Didn't you realise how low we were getting? Apparently not. Could have been my subconscious, I suppose. Well, what's that got to do with it? Something my father once said. My boy, he said, if you ever spend the night with a barmaid, all you need to do is order an extra pint when you're next in the pub. But if you spend the night with a vicar's daughter, you'll have to marry her. Fascinating. But you're not spending the night with me. Can you suggest an alternative to spending the night in the car? Oh, really? This is straight out of a film. Who do you think you are, Clark Gable? Quaint as it may sound, I should expect you to behave like a gentleman. Every inch.
It seems we're engaged. What? Well, after last night. Nothing happened last night. Well, nothing much. But you're compromised. I can live with it. You mean you won't marry me? I won't marry anyone. I want to be a professor, not a wife. Be both. Listen, if I win the Crayshaw, will you marry me? Why should that make any difference? I'm not sure. William, I thought we detested each other. Oh, so did I. We could have been wrong. Well, I certainly detest your views. Understandable. I abominate yours. Your scholarship is both superficial and reactionary. Yours, as it happens, is modish and trite. But leaving all that aside, if I win the Crayshaw, will you marry me? Very well, in that remote eventuality, I will marry you. Nice to have things settled. Uh, now, you wanted to know about India. It has 15 major languages and any number of religions. to put up the announcement. The Crayshaw? There's quite a crowd. What the hell's the matter? I think I spelled Mercutio wrong. May I offer my heartfelt, heartbroken congratulations? I wanted to say something to you when we drove back from Hardingham. You did? You said you would marry me if I won. No, something else. I wanted to say I do love nothing in the world so well as you. It's not that strange. But I've lost. <laughs> well done, Billy boy. drinking. Why do you want to get me drunk? It's a best man's job. Then you'll have a hangover tomorrow and won't be able to run. I won't run. I want to marry her. I still can't believe it, but it makes sense, I suppose. Who else could either of you have married? <laughs> if you're not going to get blotto, you'd better ride a cow. Do what? Get on its back and ride it round the field. Hardly hunter class. All longhorns have a fine turn of speed. 
Do you ride a lot of cars? Every chance I get. Then you ride it. No, you ride it. I'll take the dapple grey. We'll have a race. To the lake? Far as you like. going to do? Going on a cricket tour, aren't I? I mean, what are you going to do with your life? I should have thought that was obvious. The colonies. What do you mean, Sanders of the River stuff? <laughs> no. Teaching. India or Africa. Out there, they'll take me for a scholar. You could have been a scholar. Not a real one. You've taught me a lot, Bill. I'll tell you the most important thing you've taught me. I'm second rate. It may even be third or fourth rate. Rot. Just because you didn't get a first class degree, everyone knows there's only pedants like Philippa and me that get first. Your mind hums like a dynamo. Mine just buzzes like a senile bee. Senile bee, very good. I shall expect a signed copy of your first slim volume of verse. How about a tiger skin instead? <laughs> I shall be in my limit in the colonies. Lots of sport. I've just got 11 hours of freedom left. Got to drink up and hit the hay. Would you like a bath? Uh, no, I had one this morning. What a waste. Private bathroom. <laughs> Don't be nervous. William, I must tell you something. What is it? The thing is, I'm absurdly innocent. Really? Yes. I've read a lot. I know the theory, but... Well, you know that night we drove back from Hardingham? Yes. Well, that was the first time... anything. I've never seen a man naked. Golly. <laughs> yes. You see, my father... very sheltered childhood. I never had a boyfriend, at least not a kissing and cuddling. Stupid. What I'm trying to say is I'm frightened. You mustn't be. There's no rush. It's our wedding night. Only the first of many. I'll tell you something. We can do just what we like. We can go to bed and go to sleep. Could we? Hmm. 
On the other hand, I do want you to hold me in your arms. Then I shall hold you in my arms. William, put the light on. William? I don't think I'm frightened anymore. Sorry. Oh, don't be. It didn't only hurt, it got quite nice. I think I could learn to like it. Good. It is remarkable, though, isn't it? What? Being married and doing that. Quite remarkable. Was I right? Alpha plus. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I wasn't innocent, I'm sure you knew that, but I've never loved anyone before. It's the richest thing that's ever happened to me. Wasn't my father awful at the reception? Was he? Didn't you hear him reeling off those bawdy jokes? The old man's never at his best on polite occasions. Not exactly the voice that breathed or Eden. Oh, well, Milton would have been a bit solemn. Milton. The voice that breathed or Eden. That's not Milton, my love. It's keyboard. Really? Yes, I say, don't you believe me? Of course, if you say so, William. You really think it's Milton, don't you? Only because it's from Paradise Lost and Milton wrote Paradise Lost. But he didn't. I know, of course he did, but it's not from Paradise Lost. It's from Keeble's, um... Um... Dan. I've forgotten the name of the poet. But just as soon as we get to a library... Of course, we didn't get to a library, not for months. Greece, Turkey... And when we finally got back to Cambridge, Philippa was pregnant. Sadly, she had a miscarriage. It was a blow, but not a terrible one. We intended to try again, but the dark shadow lengthening over Europe made us hesitate. When war finally came, our lives were disrupted like everyone else's.
did you find him? The driver spotted him. Staggering about, shot to pieces. Got to him just as he toppled over. No chance of moving him, so I interrogated him on the spot. What language? I know it's the German. When I heard he was in signals, I called up HQ. They got very excited. Needed the brigadier. HQ bring you over? No, brought myself. Had to put a little pressure on the RAF. You're based at Bletchley. That's right, working on the SS code. Near to cracking it, too. There are lots of cipher people here in Normandy. Not in my league. You're an arrogant bastard, aren't you? A realist. I know more about this code than anybody else. Still alive, isn't he? Just about. You're going to interrogate him? Yes. Well, I won't stay to watch if you'll forgive me, but I'll try to look in on the way back to base. Corporal! Hauptmann, Herr Hauptmann, ich habe eine dringende Aufgabe für Sie, Herr Hauptmann. Ich bin Oberst Dieter Hausmann vom 5. Panzerregiment. Wir müssen unseren Avantgarde eine Nachricht schicken. Bitte coden Sie für mich. SS Coder. Lord. Phipps. How marvellous. You look splendid in uniform, Deirdre. The hell I do. Oh. <laughs> How did you find me, Phipps? Well, I knew you were in the WAF. After that, it wasn't too difficult. Oh, we'll have a celebration. I've got some gin somewhere. Oh, buzz off and get that tight mill. since we last met. Not since before the war. Well, don't blame me. I wrote. You didn't reply. I took to drink and abandoned ink. The only way to stay sane. How's William? He's missing. The hell he is. Army? No. Well, at least we've been doing codes and ciphers for the war office. Backroom boys, eh? Pretty humble ones. William's done much more than...